Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I appreciate you stopping by. Welcome to another episode of Rust Admin Academy. Today we're going to go over two very powerful plugins for admins only. Why do I say admins only? Because it isn't player visible, but it's two very powerful tools for an admin or a moderator, depending on how you set up your permissions. Stay tuned for my fancy little intro. We'll see you guys in a minute. All right, so the first plugin that I wanna to talk to you guys about today is called Vanish, and it's by Umod. So you can get it from the umod.org website. I will put a link down below so that you guys know exactly where to get it. Anyways, so this is what it looks like when you get to their website, and of course, we're gonna download it. And we wanna grab this plugin, and we wanna put it in our Oxide folder with plugins. So like so, and we're gonna wait for it to generate right here. Okay, so the plugin has generated and the config file. Is okay, so there's two different options that I would suggest you look at and decide whether it's important for your server, server or not. Uh, the first one is right here. Uh, play a sound effect when the plugin is activated or deactivated. And I can show you exactly what that sounds like. But before we get into all that, we need to give ourselves the permission for this plugin. And I forgot to do that. I should have done it at the very beginning. So there is a list of uh, permissions that are available for this plugin. Now, the first one and the, probably the most important one is vanish.use. Okay. So we're going to apply that permission. And as you can see here, I'm doing oxide.grant group admin. In a previous video, I'll put a link up in the corner here. Uh, we went over how to set up different groups and stuff like that. And that's what we're doing is we're going to apply this permission to the group called admin. And that's the group that I'm a member of right now. Therefore, I'm going to have that permission once all, everything is all said and done. So oxide.grant group admin vanish.use. Okay, so group admin granted permission vanish.use. Now these other ones here, they are important to uh, to look at. Uh, vanish, damage buildings, damage players, uh, damage animals, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, when you have these permissions added to a group or a player, it makes it so that they can't do these things. Okay, so let's say let's use uh, vanish.damage.animals. So if we grant this permission to a group or a player, it will make it so that they can't cause any damage to animals while banished. Okay. So this is helpful if you have a, a team of moderators that you want to you want them to be able to use the plugin, but you don't want them to abuse it. Uh, you can read between the lines here. Um, no, I'll explain it. If you don't set these permissions for your admins or your moderators that you've hired to help you operate your server, it could very easily be abused. The long and the short of it is, is it makes the player character completely invisible to other players on the server, which means if you don't apply these permissions to them, they can actually kill players, they can kill animals, they can cause damage to buildings. Uh, all while vanished and that may not be something that you want happening on your server if you're the only admin on the server then it's probably not such a big deal you'll have to show some self-control and you'll also have to make sure that you're not in vanish mode and forget about it okay otherwise i would apply these permissions to yourself as well that way if you do accidentally try to engage with a player or engage with an animal or something like that, it's going to put a warning up on the screen saying you can't do this because you're in vanish mode. Okay. So let me show you what it looks like right now. And I'm also going to show, um, I'm going to make it so that you hear the sound uh, that I'm referring to when you go vanish. Okay. So right now my player is visible and I'll show you what happens when I type vanish just slash vanish okay so now you can see the little ghosty character in the bottom left hand corner there which is the visual indicator for the person that's using it that you're invisible to other players okay and you can hear when i turn the vanish on or off it's actually playing a sound well 
everyone in the in your vicinity is going to be able to hear that so they're going to know when an admin is going in and out of vanish mode okay so that might not be something you want people to hear so in order to change that we go back into our editor here and play sound effect uh true or false and we want to change this to false obviously and we want to leave the sh the show visual indicator because you want to know you want you want to quickly be able to look down in the bottom left hand corner and see whether you're vanished or not okay um another one that is important to look at and you'll need to decide is whether you're visible to other admins or not so people that have auth level one or auth level two by default they won't be able to see you and you won't be able to see them either if they're vanished okay so you can change this to true if you want them to be able to see you or you want to be able to see them so let's just quickly reload that and both of those things should have taken place and so now as you can see when i go in and out of vanish there's no longer a noise there, okay? I still have my visual indicator in the bottom left-hand corner, and if there was another admin in the, in the server with me right now, uh, they would be able to see me regardless of whether I was in vanish mode or not because we changed that one, uh, that one portion of the config. We changed that one to true, uh, whether other people in vanish can see you. So it's just something that you need to decide for yourself. Uh, like I said, if you're the only admin on the server, it's not really something that you really need to concern yourself with. Um, but the noise you do. Okay. So why vanish? Why is it important to be able to, to, you know, hide and stuff like that? Well, sometimes you want to be able to creep up on somebody. Uh, maybe you suspect them of hacking or cheating or building in a rock formation or just anytime you want to observe another player and not have them know that you're there that's when you would use vanish okay it's a very powerful tool very useful i use it all the time uh usually when i'm checking out you know suspect hackers or something like that so the second plugin i want to cover with you guys today is called admin radar again it's available from umod.org i will put another link in the description down below so that you guys know exactly where to get it so we're going to download admin radar and grab it from our downloads folder and we're going to dump it into our plugins folder like always we're going to wait for it to generate okay cool and before we even get into it i'm going to show you guys the different uh, permissions that you have to give yourself in order to be able to use this plugin and it's a super cool plugin. So these are the two permissions right here that you want to apply to the group that you want to be able to use it. In this case, it's going to be the group called admin. Okay, so admin radar allowed. Obviously, that just allows them to be able to use the slash radar option. And the second one here, admin radar bypass, makes it so that if somebody else in the server, another moderator or another admin is using admin radar, it makes them so that they're not drawn on the radar which means if somebody were looking for you, the admin radar wouldn't help them. And you're gonna see what I mean as I'm actually using the, the plugin. All right, so let's grant ourselves these two permissions. Actually, just this one permission. That's all I really need for demonstration purposes. So we're gonna do oxide grant group admin. Oops. admin radar allowed all right so let's go into the game and actually see what it looks like so if we do slash radar so the it says in the bottom left hand corner in the regular chat that esp is enabled so i don't have any other players in this server so it's not really going to show you anything but if there were other players in here with me you would be able to see them on the screen. Um, you would see their health and you would also see their distance away from you, okay? So 
there you can see the GUI in the bottom right hand corner which gives you some options that you can select um, let's say uh, let's say we want to see where all the NPCs are let's say we want to see where all the or or is um, there's going to be no TCs on this server so that's not going to help us let's do collectibles so as you can see now they're showing up on my screen so this stone it shows me where it is. And this is exactly what it would look like if there were players in here too. It would show uh, their name, their health, and their distance away from you. So what are some things that I use this plugin for? Um, as an administrator, it's important to make sure that, let's say people aren't building in a rock formation or something like that, and you suspect that somebody is, you would be able to zip over and you could just look around real quick. And if there were a TC built somewhere in this rock formation, you would see it. Uh, let's go find a rock formation here. So this one here should let us build. Oh, no, we're too close. All right, so just as an example, I have went into this rock formation right here and placed a TC. So if you're an admin and you're cruising around and you suspect somebody of building inside of a rock formation, which there is a way of doing it, and we're not gonna discuss it here because I don't promote glitching, and that's exactly what that is. So as you can see it showing on the screen, TC 13, we'll say units away from me, okay? so. Sure enough, I go inside the rock formation and there's my TC. So now I know, depending on the rules of your server, you can go in and as I've, sh I've shown you guys before, you can just do a quick int kill. And I would highly suggest that you just delete the entire base regardless of conversations you might have with that player or not. Uh, a glitch is a glitch is a glitch and people that glitch need to be punished. And that's how I punish them on my servers. I don't, I don't even discuss it. I just go in and delete their base and I let their loot all despawn. Anyway, so that's, those are two very important plugins. They're very useful, they're very helpful. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you guys out a little bit. Uh, if it did, be sure to throw me a thumbs up if you'd like. And of course, if you'd like to see future content from me, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notification bells. We'll see you guys later.